This is just a quick tutorial to show you how to regain access to your KubeCart shop forcefully if you cannot remember your admin username or password and the password reset um, email doesn't arrive. Um, so for some reason, if the configuration is set up incorrectly within the, your store settings, um, it might be that uh, KubeCart's not able to send you the reset email. So you're completely locked out. So we're gonna show you how you can regain access. Okay, so before you can get access, it's very important that you have access to your web hosting control panel. So you need to know who your web hosting provider is and know how to log into their to their admin panel. So um, ours is ours is here. So we're going to log into um, log into the control panel. Once we're in, you need to locate a tool called PHP My Admin. Sometimes, depending upon the system, you might need to locate the database and then choose choose My Admin tool or PHP My Admin. But in cPanel, it's nice and easy. It's just here. So click on that. There we go. So you then need to select your database that KubeCut's running from. Um, if you don't know this, you can find out by going to your file manager. You can then look in the includes folder. Then look at the global file, global.inc.php, and click view. And there we go, we can see that the database is example CC6. So we'll we'll choose that one. Right, so example CC6. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so that loads our tables. You need to locate the admin users table, which is here, and click browse. And then you then need to locate the um, the staff member that you need to regain access for. So we only have the one, which is uh, my account here. Uh, and you can see there's the username and the encrypted password, um, email, etc. So let's let's edit that. Okay, so you'll probably keep the username as it was. Um, in the password field, empty, uh, delete all of that and enter a new strong password. It's very important that it's strong. So um, choose something with uh, letters and characters, um, symbols, etc. So let's choose a nice strong one. And then in the drop down menu next to it, choose MD5. Um, in the salt field, empty that. And then set new password to be zero. And all of a sudden, this is my email address is wrong. So that could be another reason why I'm not getting the, the, reset, uh, the reset email. So we'll correct that at the same time. Um, <clears throat> if this isn't set to uh, one, you might want to give yourself um, full permissions. So if you're a super user, you have access to everything. So if it doesn't have that and you need access to everything, set that to one. And then I think the rest we can ignore so far. Um, status. So we also need to make sure that that has a one. Okay, so then if we um, click go to save changes, we can then attempt to log in. I'm on the wrong screen. Click login. And there we go, you're back in again. Uh, so once you've logged in, if you go back and look at the database, you don't need to do this, but um, and click browse, you'll see that it's put in a new salted password, which is which is much more secure than the MD5 password. And you're all set, you have access again.